Today is our sixth anniversary. She's been putting up with me for six years. Haven't killed him yet. So we're here in Winnipeg. We dropped off the little guy at his Nana's house. We didn't quite know what we were gonna do today, but we figured we'd come to the Forks. And at the Forks here is the Canadian Museum of Human Rights. We haven't been inside there yet. And they made a big deal of it when they built it a few years ago. So we figured we'd go check out what all the fuss was about. It's supposed to be really nice in there. The weather was supposed to be a little bit nicer too. It wasn't supposed to be quite so chilly, windy, and gloomy. So we thought we were going to do a river ro river walk or a river boat ride, but it's way too cold. Yeah, it's so. getting a little cold. Leaves are falling here already. Yeah. Summer's over. Indoor activities begin. Yep. So we'll check this out, and if uh, we still have time, once we're done that, we'll just walk over to the Forks, which is just a little bit down that way yet in the same lot. I have my GoPro here, but I, I will apologize in advance for the audio. I have the GoPro here, but uh, I didn't bring the SD card in there. So you kind of need that. So we'll be filming on our phones today. Typical Josh. It's always something. <laughs> it's always something. But at least we have these cameras so we can yeah. uh, create these memories together today and put it together for you later. Mm-hmm. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Here's to six more. Only six? And then six after that. How about 66 more? 66 more, that's a much better thing. 72 say. years in all? I think we could we could pull it off. We'll pull it off. And then we'll go back to our contract and We'll reevaluate <laughs> we'll then. Reevaluate after 66 years. I don't think anyone's gonna want us when we're that wrinkly. <laughs> okay, let's go inside and see what this is all about. This is it. This thing took them quite a while to build. And of course, in true Winnipeg spirit, it went way over budget and took way longer than they said it would. But it's actually a pretty uh, pretty big museum. It's a national, national museum. It's right downtown. Didn't the queen come when this opened? I think she might have. Oh, we gotta pay to park here. It's a lot bigger when you get close to it.
lots of empty space. I mean, it looks cool, but no artwork, nothing on the walls, very plain. They could have used this area for some kind of display too. It's just gravel. Yeah, it does go really high. It's pretty cool. So we just came around from the other side over there. We went through this room over here. And we came out here. We're slowly making our way up. Still both kind of surprised at the plainness of it. Just wide open walls. I mean, you put a beautiful artwork piece right there. But... Yeah, there's so much room, just empty. And there's that gravel. See, we were standing just on the other side of this thing before. And it goes down to there. I mean, it's big and it's interesting and you got all these walkways, right? That intersect and go all the way up there. That's pretty cool, right? But really lost opportunity for a lot of artwork. Like over here, this is the room we just came out of. This was very interesting. Still very wide open, but. Each little booth there has a different story to tell. And then you have that centerpiece there. I'm not sure what it's for. It's definitely interesting. Like I've always wondered what's been in here. Like this building looks very interesting, fascinating from the outside. So I always did want to come inside. I just thought that it would be uh, well, I, I guess I was thinking over the top extravagant and it's sort of just meh. Meh. But still very interesting. I mean, worth seeing once. Maybe not worth the price, but. I've heard that from other people before too. Like it's worth coming to see once. It's kind of expensive. But uh. And they gotta pay for all of this somehow. I'm sure it's very expensive to maintain all of this and it's not very busy in here. It's a Saturday afternoon when they would you'd think they'd have the most traffic. Mm -hmm. It's very quiet. Very quiet. So we have found ourselves in this Garden of Contemplation. Garden, is that what it's called? It's called Garden of Contemplation. Oh, I was just gonna call it a garden, there you go. That's pretty nice. I mean, you get beautiful areas like this, which is amazing. Maybe they will, over the years, go further with more artwork and... I don't know. Wow. Does your garden have elevators? Ours does. That's beautiful. Wow. This is where it opens up to the top. Oh, I guess the elevator takes you way up to the top of that spire. Oh, well, maybe we should go and check Can that out. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go see what's at the top. Cool. I might get weak and a little bit nauseated. Hold my hand. We're on level four, I believe. So it's coming down to get us and take us to the top. Like, it is dead in here. It is nice, I yeah. I prefer it this way. Remember when we went to the museum when Theo was born? Yeah. Like 20 days after or something? It was so busy, it was like overwhelming. Oh, it's a glass on here. Oh, boy. Okay. oh, that's fun. All right, are we going up to the top? All the way to the top. Let's see what's at the top. <laughs> you don't like heights? Not at all. 
Me neither, really, but as long as I'm in it, I close the elevator. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, don't like it already. No. here that I think some people in our government and across our country need to read. Everyone has a right to freedom of opinion and expression. This includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media, regardless of frontiers. This power confers great responsibility on all who work in media and on each of us as individuals. Listen and read and watch. Something that seems to be forgotten in some areas. It's good that they have this on display so people can be reminded. Well, we did that. We did that. It was a museum. It took like, sort of like walking through Ikea. It's this long maze and you get to the end, you gotta walk all the way back. Could have taken the elevator, but. It's a glass elevator. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I don't like heights either, but. Apparently you're okay with them compared to me though. Yeah, as long as I'm like in a box, even if it's a glass box, I'm, I'm okay, usually. But I mean, my opinion on it is it, it's, it's worth coming to see once. I don't think I would want to pay to come back again. Nope. They could have done so much more. I don't want to sound like I'm criticizing it because... It's I mean, more than we could have done. More than we could have done. It was it's, it's a beautiful building, beautiful inside, but I found a lot of empty space that I wasn't really expecting. 
you know, buildings, extravagant buildings like this that were built in the past, you know, would have just amazing stone carving and artwork on every building. This one seemed like to, to have a lot of empty, wasted space, but... And a lot of the exhibits weren't uh, functioning right now because it looks like they may have had water damage or something. There were big bands blowing and like sectioned off pieces. And some guys, one of the museum workers told us to go get a free voucher to come back and we're like, nah, we're good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe they took all the artwork down because they had major water damage. I don't think that would be the case, but... I don't know. No, there was... That was a lot. I mean, for the all the hype that Winnipeg did for this building, like it's been big, like it's been a huge hype, and it took forever to forever to build. They went over budget, everything. We thought it was just going to be over the top extravagant, and I guess maybe I had my expectations set pretty high, and it was a little bit underwhelming. Yep, agreed. I have the same opinion. But the best part was that you were there uh -oh. on our anniversary. Uh -oh. Six years. I think it was something to do. It was very, very interesting. Something different. Mm -hmm. Are we walking to the Forks now? Yeah, because it looks like there isn't going to be a lot of parking. There's a lot of cars. So. Okay. We're going to go see if the Christmas store still exists. I hope. So this is the Forks in Winnipeg that refers to the Forks in the river, or the Fork in the river between the Assiniboine River and the Red River. It's a special meeting place open to everyone. It's a historic meeting place. Now sort of like a little uh, Winnipeg cultural space, I guess. Oh, I guess we could have got in there. There's 203 spaces there. Oh, and we walked because we thought there'd be no parking. Uh, whatever. I need the exercise. It's good for you. Well, it's like its own little community in here. An old trading center. inside Johnson Terminal. took the old buildings and sort of converted them into sort of like a little mini mall. Actually, I actually haven't been here in a long time. Looks like the Christmas store is gone. I thought I heard that it was still open somewhere. Maybe they just moved. Maybe. Kite and Caboodle is still here. So we're in Kite and Caboodle, a little toy store, and we're looking for the Christmas store, so I googled it why we couldn't find it. Googled it, and it says, shoplifting, causing Christmas store at the Forks to close, and that was in 2014 already. So that's too bad, it's one of the original shops, and it was open year-round, just for people like us. Christmas nuts. Finding anything? I love this monster pillow. so cute. I was just showing them the results of our search that the Christmas store is closed. That's cool. Look at those little shades for him. Paw Patrol. <laughs> I love these plasma cars. He is definitely getting one of those once he's big enough. Those are fun. They're so much fun. Did they make one big enough for me too? I wish. I could fit on that. Next stop, Carnival. It's a Brazilian barbecue restaurant downtown here, right on the water. Lots of parking available today. Winnipeg is very quiet today for a Saturday. Usually these places are just hopping. $4 per hour. What are we gonna get, two, three hours? I'll just do three, just in case. 
So the Red River goes right behind there. And the Assiniboine River meets it right over there. So the Forks is just over behind those buildings over there. So we're not too far away from where we were. The river is right there and here is Carnival. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh. Have any of you been to this restaurant? I believe they are in other cities as well. So it's an all-you-can-eat meat buffet, pretty much. They cook it right beside us, right here. And then they bring it over here, one bit at a time. If we want more, we turn this over. But right now we're pretty full. <laughs> so we turn that red, but as soon as we turn that over, it'd be green, and they'd bring us more. The beef. Yeah. They got beef, they got lamb, chicken, chicken yeah. ham, everything. I mean, look at all that. All that. It was delicious. beautiful place and I didn't film an end of day on that day the rest of the time I just spent it enjoying my date I didn't want to film the entire time so I filmed a little bit here and there we went to uh, the Canadian Museum of Human Rights we went to the Forks and we went to Carnival I would highly recommend Carnival if you're in the Winnipeg area maybe check to see if they have a location in different areas where you are as well I don't know if they if they're a franchise or not but wow Amazing, amazing, amazing food. Great experience. A little bit pricey. Just a heads up when you go there, but you get what you pay for. You get an amazing experience. So I would recommend it. I'm back home and just wanted to say bye. That's all. And explain why there was no end. I just focused on the date the rest of the day. And I think you can understand that. So I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Don't forget to be safe, stay safe. And as always, drive safe. We'll be back in the truck in my next video. I'll see you tomorrow.